Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Zach TG, and today we are continuing the Paper Mario stream. Of course, in the last episode, we defeated the Cooper Brothers, and we're about to uh, head off onto the train to go to Dry Dry Desert. Now, before I actually go to Dry uh, Dry, dry Desert, take the train over to Dry Dry Desert, yeah, of course, right before I ended the stream, I decided to go and, uh, yeah, for, right before I ended the stream, I decided to go give the playroom a shot. Of course, uh, I kind of lost a bit of my but of course, uh, so I decided to test a game pretty much off screen, and yeah, you can see the results uh, of the coins right there. Yeah, I got incredibly lucky during that. And of course, with that, I'm able to purchase the last badge from Ralph's. The first attack badge. Let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a first strike. That could be very, very handy. Uh, that could be handy, uh, but it's kind of situational. I usually, um, yeah. The game, what the game classifies as weaker enemies are enemies that don't give out star points. And if enemies don't give out star points, well, you're usually better off avoiding them. Yeah, hopefully, uh, I'm just uh, fixing pretty much the uh, dropped frame issue that I keep uh, having over the previous uh, videos. And of course, over here, we have Chuck Quizmo. Co-Wiz, it's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try the quiz? Uh, sure. Then let's go to the question. Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? Well, gray is the second, we can't break that yet, and I have not seen a red block so thus far, so it's gotta be yellow. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered two questions so far. Good luck next time! Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. Alright, now we should be able to head to Dry Dry Desert. Just making sure I'm good up on my items, pretty much. I want to save up some item space. And I haven't looked at this space yet. Welcome to Toad Town's famous Low Oink Farm. Hit the bar overhead, pay 10 coins, and wait for the egg. Hit it with a hammer to hatch the Low Oink. Try to find out what kind of Low Oink will be born. Have fun watching these adorable Low Oinks. Be careful though, if someone gets inside the fence, all the little oinks will run away. You can have a maximum of 10 little oinks on the farm. When the 11th little oink enters, the first will leave. Now try to see all the different types of little oinks. I love little oinks, love them. Do you want to learn about them? Sure. Little oinks are timid and mysterious creatures that hatch from eggs. They spook easily and will run away if you approach them. Observe them from out here. There are many breeds of little oinks. They're very easy to tell apart. White ones, black ones, even golden silver ones. If you're curious about the breed of a newborn little oink, come over and talk to me. I wish the world were full of little oinks. That would be grand. Now, a special thing about little oinks is that once you get to that 11th little oink, the first one will run away and leave behind an item. Of course, the item won't stay there so long, so you can only try really get one or two items at a time per little oink. That means that uh, you could possibly spend 110 coins plus trying to get that item that you desperately want right from there. Of course, rare items can pop us as well, but don't really count on it so much. Yeah, anyway, we have a cracked bolt bolt over there, and, well, the train's not going to be running anytime soon. I'm ruined. Done for. A huge rock is blocking the train tracks. 
when Peach's castle was uprooted, one of the boulders from that stack rolled off and landed here. Oh, what bad luck. If I can't do something about that boulder, I can't make my run to Mount Rugged. Oh, no problem. I'll just blow the boulder away. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, one new thing that I'm uh, doing uh, for the stream. Yeah, due to the inspiration of pretty much, uh, yeah, that uh, Goomba dodge from uh, the first stream, and of course those two uh, blooper dodges from uh, the last stream, I thought that might be uh, good to create pretty much a new list of my own. And, ta-da, here it is. Here is the lucky counter. Yeah, any time that I get a lucky dodge against an enemy, this counter will go up. So I'll try to see how many lucky uh, dodges I can uh, make throughout the course of this playthrough. But enough stalling. Oh, thank you, Mario! Put the train's back on track! All aboard! This train is bound for Mount Rugged! Are you coming, Mario? Sure. The train is about to depart. Please board quickly. Sit tight, folks. Now departing for Mount Rugged. And here comes one of my uh, favorite Paper Mario tracks of this game. Just take a listen. Okay, so far it seems to have fixed uh, my uh, drop frame issues. That's good. Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. Well, I can definitely tell one of them is a chomp, but who's that guy flowing in the background? Mount Rugged! Mount Rugged! Passengers heading for Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Outpost should proceed directly over Mount Rugged from the station. It kind of looked like there was something that was flowing there. There wasn't. If you want to go to Dry Dry Desert, you have to hike over Mount Rugged. Follow the arrows on the signboard so you don't get lost. There are lots of scary creatures around here. If you're not careful, you'll get hurt in a big way. If things are looking desperate, you'd better run away really fast. At least I would. Yeah, there are some situations where it's probably best to just run away. And of course, over here we find... an egg. I saw a creature called a whack on Mount Rugged. It was extra cute. I'll see what this Waka does later on. And uh, speaking of the gray block from Chuck Quizmo, yeah, we can't uh, smash with our hammer yet. And another HP healing block. Ah, uh, no, I found it. Where could it be? Carry. Oh, uh, sorry, folks. Uh, very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Uh, aren't you Mario? Why, you are. You're THE Mario. Uh, hello there. Uh, the name's Carry. I deliver letters. Um, I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Uh, wouldn't you know it, I dropped it on Mount Rugged and I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. Alright, so we have to help Harry Carey find a lost letter. Easy enough. I'll investigate this slide more later. And here we have a new enemy, the Monty Mole. Okay, 3 HP. Yep, 3. 
for HP to attack. And nothing I'm uh, nothing I'm uh, I'm not used to. Oh, tricky, tricky. Let me try and get a sneak attack in. Yeah. Come on, get closer, you mole. Get closer. There we go. Glad I did that. I think so far, Bombette is a good arsenal for getting uh, those first strikes in. That is if I can hit enemies with the bomb. And here's Waka. Waku! I'm Waka. Just another picture perfect day of Tom Halbrogan. The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing. Waka do! Yeah, of course, if you hit uh, Waka, you'll get pretty much a good healing item. I really don't want to take advantage of that yet. Sorry, Waka. I'm just not gonna hurt you. And another save block. Conveniently close to the first one. Only separated by pretty much one enemy. That's it. Yeah, of course, the second mine mold down there. That one's kind of a bit out of the way. And, of course, my moles will sometimes do cheap attacks like that. Gotta get used to the timing, gotta get used to the timing. Now, some frames are dropping, but uh, not as much uh, as it has been for the previous two streams. Well, it's definitely good so far. Hopefully the I.O. is good. And wow, there's a letter right there. With an easy reach. Just switch over to Cooper. And we got a letter to Merlon in Toad Town. I just don't know. That just seems a bit too easy. I mean, I uh, found the first letter, uh, pretty much found this letter pretty dang quick. I just have a feeling that's probably not it. Ooh boy, yeah, here is a real nasty enemy. <sighs> yeah, this is a real nasty enemy called a cleft. Clefts have low HP, however, they make up for that with their high defense. Yeah, bombing or defense down hammers will shred these guys. There we go. I got FP, so I might as well demonstrate a deep down pound. Yeah, they got two defense and sadly only two health. Of course, my mole. I want to try to get another strike on him. Hopefully, he'll stay there. Of course, now he's not going to move down. Oh, 
Of course, why do I need to strike uh, first strike that one mole? I thought I had backup. Alright, so let's head on up. Bye-bye! Sorry, Mo, no clutch to hide behind. Well, at least I get my 2 FP back. Let's see what's it out there to the right. Yeah, we just can't make it across, and there's another layer right there. Oh boy. <laughs> of course you're not gonna come. <sighs> of course you're out of range. There we go. And another D down pound. Yeah, you're gonna have to use the uh, FP moves to deal with clefts at this point. Because they have two defense. I got two layers so far. I want to see if there's at least a third one before I can go. Or even a fourth one. Whee! Of course, put me right next to the cleft. At least they're not giving me three clefts at a time. I'm thankful for that. I see the last letter up there, or, th or third letter at least. I don't know if there's a fourth or anything. Ah, <sighs> you're just out of range. I think I'm probably getting close to another level up at this point. Just need 12 more. Another mushroom. Ah, cheap attack. Oh, really? You're just, you're just gonna move up, up and down. <sighs> First you mole. Uh, of course. Of freaking course. Oh, I we'll finally get to see the clubs in action. To attack. Yeah, nothing to worry about. At least I got my HP back. 
and one point of my FP back. Another quest. And, well, bye bye. <laughs> Alright, Cleft. Oh, I see another star piece right there. I don't think even Cooper can reach that. So I might have to come back here later. Just a single coin? Oh, come on. I know I deal with Cleft, so bye bye. You know what, just for fun's sake, and uh, because I'm about to get a level up, let's blow the heck out of this class. Alright, so let's see what's next that I want. I'm actually probably going to do uh, BP next. Alright, so let's see which badge I want to click next. I don't have real good use for speed spin at this moment. So I'm going to equip speed spin and equip the always nice zap tap. Oh yes, this thing is a very good badge in my opinion. Oh, there's a letter. Is that it to explore in here? Uh, oh, there's a secret passage up, up here. And yeah, that leads to a damage dodge badge. If you do the Astro Command, it decreases Mars damage by one. I know I want to switch. I'm sorry, but damage dodge is really useful at uh, this point because if you do the Astro Command correctly, it increases the defense by one if you do the Astro Command correctly. There's this another star piece I could get. Of course, the mole will respond. Ugh! Cheap attack! If I could try the damage dodge in action. I get the timing. There we go. Yeah, this is what the damage dodge badge in action. If you guard against the enemy, that attack normally dealt two damage, but because I'm wearing the damage dodge, it didn't do anything. Very nice, very, very nice. I forgot that uh, my moles have three health, not two. Okay, did the enemy suddenly respawn or something? I know there's something else here. Oh, there is. Another star piece. Yeah, 
If you're wondering why I'm pausing like that. Yeah, I have a checklist of different things to get. I'm just taking my time to just uh, try it down so I don't forget about it later. Oh, we got the weather, so let's report to Pear Carry. But first... Alright, here's the first letter. Oh, that's the one! Aw, thanks for finding it, I'm so relieved. Um, actually, I'm also looking for two other letters I may have lost. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, uh, really. If you could find them, uh, could you? Uh, thank you so much. Oh, I already found the other two. Oh, there we go. That's one of the ones I dropped by accident. Thanks so much, really. Of course, there's still one more letter left. Uh, if at all possible, could you please find the two? I'm really scouring this area down here, but so far I haven't had much luck. Oh, well, here's the last letter. Oh, the last letter! You found it! And I got all the letters I lost... ...today. Oh, thank you so much. Today? Oh, you're a lifesaver. I, I wish there was some way I could repay you for your help. Actually, uh, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters on Mount Rugged. I may have sort of dropped some all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're good at fighting letters. Uh, do you think you could keep an eye out during your travels? In return, I would offer you whatever help I can. Yeah, why not? I'm kind of stuck without you. Oh, praise the stars! I wasn't looking forward to having to find those letters all by myself. No, sir. I'll do my very best to help. You shall not regret this. And Paracarry joins the party. Press the C down button to have him carry Mario and fly for a short time. He can carry Mario over a short gap so he couldn't jump across by himself. While in battle, he can attack with skydives or smash into enemies using his shell shot ability. Now, onward! Oh, but hey, uh, by the way, uh, if you want to deliver a letter to someone, just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, though. Keep in mind, keep in mind, alright? Yeah, so here it kind of opens up this little, uh, side quest that Paracarry can do. As you see, Paracarry has dropped quite a bit of letters. In fact, uh, he, uh, pretty much dropped... Eleven letters that could give you uh, star pieces, plus the letter that starts an extremely tedious side quest. Yeah. And the letters that we got: to Berlin, to Goompapa, and Colorado. Of course, Paracarry can't really help uh, much during first strikes, and the enemies really do respawn. I really don't have time to deal with the Monty Moles. I really don't have time. And yeah, notice that badge that's been taunting me over there? Well, you can use Paracarry to just fly over there. It helps if I actually uh, push the down button instead of the right button. And we have a Quake Hammer Badge. Slightly damages all enemies on the ground or the ceiling. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, taking advantage of that badge in the future. Of course, there's also a spot. Really, all the even the clefts have respawned. And oh, what is this? Another flower. Huh? You talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. Alright, you are talking to me. 
It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in Flower Fields. But you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. I know I ever notices me, but a few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. I love a good conversation, but here, take this as thanks. Uh, this is a precious seed. Keep it well and remember me. And we have the next magical seed. Uh, please grow my seed with care. It'll help you one day. Yeah, I think we do have to uh, talk to him eventually. Yeah, it's good to get him out of the way. I do remember there's another star piece over on the left. And we have the next star piece. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. And now let's head back. Why yeah, not the cleft? Across here. Okay, I'm getting a bad feeling about that uh, bird. Alright, I want to put this. Don't really need that right now. I doubt I'll be using much items right now. You know what? Zap tap is good. Yeah, I think I'll probably absolutely uh, break this bell with uh, Zap Tap. Hey there, hold up a sec, partner. Just a darn minute. I've seen you somewhere. Oh, boy. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fellow Mario who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? Yeah, of course, if you say Mario, he'll immediately pick a fight with you. If you say Luigi, you can outright skip the fight. So let's see if I reaction if we're say, uh, saying uh, we're Princess Peach even though we're obviously a man. What's that? Princess Peach? You take me for a fool. Princess Peach is captured up there in Bowser's castle. You reckon I don't know that? You're asking for a you big fibber. I'm thinking you're mine. Prepare for your whooping. Uh-oh. Here we go. And yes, yeah, say hello to the next mini-boss. Which happens to be... Bazaar. 40 HP, 3 attack, 0 question. Yeah, quite a bit more difficult than the blooper because of its higher HP. Oh boy. So I just gotta be careful here. Ah, this time. Alright, so let's see what uh, Paracarry did really do. Alright. Of course, uh, this wind attack it goes out to your partner as well. It's a team attack. Yeah, luckily it's a very weak one. All right, so that's seven, da uh, nine damage down. And yeah, that's the zap tap badge in work.
Of course, uh, it probably would have been easier if I hadn't worn the Zap Tap badge, because then I'd probably get out of this attack. And have to save uh, damage. Uh, Alright, 12 down. I'm getting off with the timings right now. Head counter against that. Nice. If you're gonna keep re uh, repeating that, uh, be my guest. Ah, I missed that. And yeah, the zap tops do stack up. Ah, missed the timing. This could be bad, this could be bad, I'm in danger. I think Buzzar is almost down. Nope, still not. Ooh boy, I'm in real peril now. Yeah, now's the point I could probably refresh. I've really got to stop making the close calls. Yow, I got whooped. Alright, so let's head down now. I've really got to work, uh, work on my action bands. I've really got to work on them. Alright. Now it's time to do a little badge cleanup. Oh, sorry, Zap Tap. And D down pound. I'll say there are cl clefts in the next area. I think I'll be fine. And yeah, welcome to Dry Dry Desert. It's absolutely a maze. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado. I'm an archaeologist. Oh, I travel the world. At the moment, I'm turning Dry Dry Desert upside down to find the Dry Dry Ruins. My sisters have attempted to gather information on Dry Dry Outpost, which is near here. 
sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a clue, and we'll be golden. And of course, since we have a letter for Colorado... Uh, you're Colorado, correct? Uh, the name's Karakari. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. And here's a letter to Colorado. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, good show. It's a letter from my wife. Thank you, other so old chap. This is what I just why I needed to give me strife to go on. I know, I'll pass this along as a spot of thanks. I came across it while I was immersed in the dig about here. And we get another star piece. Very nice. Of course, I know there's something in the tree up there, but of course, since uh, Colorado's buddies are exploring a dry, dry desert around here, we can't get to it. So it's just pretty much time to we'll explore the rest of this area. And yeah, dry, dry desert is absolutely huge. Of course, packed with bandits. Yeah, bandits are pretty much notorious for stealing coins. Yeah, little thieves that they are. I'm just trying to explore every inch of this map, just to see what's there. And of course, with the speedy spin, I can really get to places. Right, nothing important down there. Yeah, that's a lone block here. Oh, th there's something! We have an Attack FXC badge. And of course, like the Attack FX B badge. That if you equip it. What the heck was that? This weird sound, that's what it was. I'm probably going to regret not fighting the enemies here. Oh, we have something interesting. There's a Tweester. If you hop into a Tweester, you'll fly off somewhere. Yeah, of course, you'll always fly northeast of any Tweester location. I just want to see how far exactly did I go. That looks like just northeast. Yeah, I think just to prove a concept. If I keep going down south. Yep, there's the block which has the attack FXC badge. Yeah, tweezers always uh, land you one square north and one square east. One square northeast. So use that as a reference uh, to. Uh, when you get blown away by Tweesters. Okay, I swear I have not hit this block before. I don't think I've been here. Nope, because... We just got a mushroom. Oh, frickin' really? That's all you're willing to give me? Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, that's better, a super shroom. I wonder.
And I'm just wondering if those two shrooms are it. No, that's not. And here's our first glimpse at an Ultra Shroom. Restores 50 HP. Very, very nice. Very, very nice at this point in the game. I think a bit too much. Got two items here. Yeah, no, 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 no. I got enough mushrooms, thank you. Oh, fine, I'll deal with you. I just want to test. Nope, it counts as a spiky enemy. Oh well. Oh, you dirty little cheaters. Can't believe you can bring so many friends. to get MP back. Yeah, I pretty much have to do a power show there. Yeah, Pokies don't have any defense. They're just spiked. They're just spiky. Yeah, this is the tough attack. Okay, no other tweezers here. Yeah, you'll get lost very easily.
Ну. Yeah, the time is real weird for that. <sighs> yep, real weird. I think now might be a good point to probably avoid the rest of the uh, dry, dry desert bows. Oh no. There we go. Thank you, damage dodge. Well, since we know tweezers go one square right, nothing pretty much. Except for this suspicious block between a triangle of trees, which has the runaway pay badge. Am I the only one who thinks that this badge might be an inspiration to probably uh, align uh, from uh, yeah, Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon Explorer games? Run away and pay. Yeah, let's Mario earns a star point to be pleased with battle. It's a situational badge at best. Oh, another twister. All right. Still nothing. Honey syrup. Lost enough as it is. Yeah, I know there's a certain point in this uh, area in which I have to ride the twister in order to get to an unreachable spot. Alright, and we're back here again. I see the fire flower, I'm not gonna get. Much easier ways to get fire flowers, thank you. Oh, fine, I'll deal with you bandits. And yeah, these are bandits. You probably want to deal with them ASAP. Because if they hit you and you fail the action command, they'll steal some coins from you. And if you don't hurry and finish them off, or if you don't hurry and attack them, they'll leave with your coins. 5 HP. <sighs> really having trouble with the timings. Gotta yeah, get good, better with the timings. I really gotta get better with the timings. Bye. 
<laughs> I just like the little wah, 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 wah noise that uh, they make uh, when uh, they fail an action command. When you, you hit uh, the action command and they don't spill anything. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, of course, the action command for that is kind of a bit on the tricky side, but once you get the timing down, it's kind of worth it. Just for that reaction alone. Oh, another coin block. Alright, and we're back on the main path. And there's the point I want to see. And here we have a new item. Let's see if I have any space in the inventory. No. Sorry about that. I guess we won't see what it does. Oh, these cactuses are these cacti are blue instead of green. And with that, we now have the spin attack badge. Let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a spinning move. I just kind of feel like, uh... just kind of feels like that's probably almost the same thing as, I don't know, bu uh, bump attack or something? Or first attack. Rather, first attack. Just gotta deal with spinning attack instead of a first strike. And I th really think that's pretty much all the major stuff here. Welcome to Dry Dry Outpost. Hey, guess what? Hey, someone that doesn't does a stone cactus. If you move three south or two west from there, you'll find something special to I'm not sure how to find it exactly, however. You should go there, yep, yeah. Hey, wanna hear something else? Yeah, this guy will basically tell you rumors about uh, the uh, dry, dry desert, about something uh, important stuff in there. And, okay, this looks suspicious. Temporarily closed, so oh, come on, I want to check some items. All here is called one crawls explorers. Hey, hello, I'm assisting archaeologist Professor Colorado. I came to Dry Dry Desert to excavate Dry Dry Ruins, but it's caused blazes every day and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to go home. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, uh, here's another uh, story of when I was a kid. Yeah, when I was younger, I did not know that you can actually jump up from behind there and access pretty much a secret area here. Here, you'll meet as soon as she introduces herself. Hello, welcome, how are you? Feeling jolly, feeling blue? I'm Merle, you see? That's me, a cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance? Want to watch my cards dance? Sure. Oh, how lovely. Very good. Pick just one now, if you would. I'd pay as much as I could. And of course, we can pay for the petite course, the ordinary course, and the special course. Oh, I pretty much got uh, coins to spare quite a bit, so I'll do the special course. Well, we're ready. Tell me how, and here we go.
I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, none the least. My spell makes a feminine feast. See you then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. Uh, for instance, your attack power might get stronger, or you might get more coins for winning. Other stranger things may happen as well, but do not rely on this spell. By no means will it take a effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but it's also unpredictable. Yeah, this guy is absolutely right. It can do beneficial things throughout the battle, but it's very random. You have no idea what will happen, or when it will even happen. You just have to get lucky. Alright, and I finally store some items, please. I need to free item space. Alright, I want to check some items in. Definitely want to check in an ultra shroom. It's way too important to have in the inventory. Definitely honey syrup. And a mushroom. Super shroom. Egg. And a fright jar. And of course, there's one other piece of business I just forgot. I'm just waiting to have enough item space. If you actually go south here, We actually know some bit of green grass. And we found an oasis. Where we can find lemons. We can find limes. And a healing block. But also a super block. This is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power. The party member will also master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? And you can uh, see which uh, new moves uh, they'll gain if you upgrade them. Like, Mario will master charge, Cooper will master dizzy shell, Gombet for power bomb, and Paracurry for airlift. Now, an interesting thing is that now I'll be able to gain a new move, their attack power also increases by 1. Keep that in mind. I think right now it's probably beneficial for me to upgrade Paracarry. It's probably the most beneficial at this time for Paracarry. And Paracarry is upgraded to Super Rank. Very nice. Yeah, let's go head back to Dry Dry Outpost. Oh, of course I missed this. A letter to Mort's Tea in Koopa Village. Oh, hello, Chuck Quizmo. Quiz, it's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo! Wanna try the quiz? Sure. Then let's go to the question. Question number three. What ability does Gumbario frequently use? Well, he uses head bark, not jump, that's for darn sure. And he definitely does not dive, he pretty much tattles. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered three questions so far. Good luck next time! Oh well, so long farewell till we meet again. Alright. I think it's about time we figure out what that suspicious uh, deal is all about. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. 
I'll give something. Uh, would you like a lemon, good sir? Oh, heavenly. A lemon, the nicest of nice things. You're proving you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're so nice, yes, I'll taste something really nice. I want to figure out how to see Mustafa. Uh, to find Mr. Mustafa, go to the shop in this town. First, buy a dry shoe. Then, buy a dusty hammer. You must buy them in the correct order, yes? Remember to dry shoe first, and then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign known to those loyal to Mustafa. If you buy these things in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mustafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. This acknowledge you must be You understand? That's enough. Well, goodbye. I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mustafa, nice guy. Okay, dry shroom, then dusty hammer. Of course, those two are probably uh, some of the least useful items. And they're also the cheapest. Dry shroom would be two coins. Yes. And I want a dusty hammer. What who? Finding a dusty hammer after your dried shroom? It's a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa knows. That means you're in with Mustafa. Hey, brother. Uh, good to meet you. How many questions you need answered? Uh, you want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost, so just keep going up, my man. And of course, I want to sell those two things back to you. Of course, I lose two coins. I just really don't want those two items. They're just not really worth it to me. Uh, and I forgot to check something in. Jeez, I'm running out of space. Yeah, we can, I can only store 11 more items. And hey, that guy guarding the door is gone. So we can go back here. And now we can climb on the roofs. There's another letter, a letter to the traveling Nona Mouse on the road. That I maybe I skipped past him. And hey, it's you. That's the no Mouse that's uh, guarding the gate, uh, door. Hey, nice guy, win me again. I'm glad you found me. I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about to dry dry outpost, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Now your name is Mario, yes? I've I heard that you want to go to dry dry ruins. I have a feeling you are on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one the secret. I'll give you this. And we have a pulse stone. The closer you get to Dry Dry Ruins, the faster it flashes. Now this pulse stone is the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? The pulse stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the pulse stone will flash. Follow it where it leads you. Find the place where the pulse stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. And we have our task. So I've got to do a save right here. And now we can finally go find Dry Dry Ruins. Okay, something just flashed. Must be the pulse stone, so I must be getting close. 
Hello, fellow travelers. I'm in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. If you go southeast from here, you'll reach a beautiful desert oasis where lemons and lime, 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 lime trees grow. It's nice and cool. It's really the best place to have a rest, but many enemies plague the surrounding area. If you plan on reaching the oasis in one piece, uh, be careful. A traveling node mouse, correct? The name's Pat Harry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Alright, there's a, here's a letter for you. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. A letter for, to me, from Mustafa? I've heard the name, but I can't remember who he is. Anyway, thank you for delivering it. I'm surprised that you found me way out here. It's extremely hot traveling in the desert, so take care. Oh yeah, take this as my thanks. Don't hesitate. Please take it. And the star piece. So now let's just track on uh, where the dry dry ruins is. Okay, it just seems to be north so far. Okay, it's uh, flashing faster, so that means I'm getting close. Oh, it's blinking rapidly. Ah, crud. Switch to Paracarry. Oh, it's beeping very rapidly. And stop beeping all the way here. So I wonder. There it comes. Dry, dry ruins is appearing out of the sand. Everybody's in a panic. Even the citizens of the outpost are panicking. And Mustafa is missing. Here it is. No, it's coming up. And suddenly a healing block appears out of nowhere. We finally have access to dry, dry ruins. I'm the huge scary Tutan Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this, my palace of the sands? Speak and be known. Be gone from this place. Now, or disaster will befall you. Oh great, so we basically have the ghost of K Tutu Koopa basically warning us to stay out. But of course we have a task here, we can't just flee. We gotta press on. Maybe I might try to pull a cheap shot here, who knows. Ah oh, crud, no 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 no. And here we have a new type of pokey, the poison, uh, the pokey mummy. Yeah, pokey mummies are no joke. And of course, uh, they're pretty much spiked on the uh, side. If they hit you and you don't actually guard against them, they'll go ahead and poison you. And of course, they have no more health than your standard Pokey. And here's Burly. 
increases the number of star points where you double. On here we have a very useful badge, the Spike Shield Badge. Let's see... I don't think we have any use for the D-Down Pounds Badge right, right now, so I'll go ahead and replace that with the Spike Shield. Very handy. Come on, you are right there! Hit boxes! What are they? There we go! My mom that does nothing! Of course, if I can hammer correct, uh, if I can actually guard her correctly, I'll avoid the poison effect. At least again, uh, heart back. Ah, come on already! Hey, dirty. Underhanded. <laughs> of course you won't go past the first coffin. <laughs> of course you go back at just the right time to avoid the effect of the bomb. Of course you can't go closer. Of course this is just extremely awkward. I think I did dodge correctly. Nah. And yeah, if you get hit by uh, the uh, Poke Mummies, they won't immediately poison you. It's not an immediate effect. What's he gonna do left with, uh, just ahead? Oh, that. Now, of course, I consider that the head is kinda harder to dodge than, uh, him throwing the individual five parts. I think now might be a good point to heal. Which means the enemies do respond, so I gotta be extremely careful. Yep. And here we have a ruins key. Which opens the door here. And this drains the sand from down there. So now we can get to that door down there. Fool! You have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sand. Okay, anybody else get creeped out by this? Of course, there's another key right here. 
Of course, same situation pretty much. Until we got a new enemy. The Buzzy Beetle. They behave pretty much similar to Koopa Troopas. Except... They can get up immediately, but of course they can't attack. So they're a little bit harder to deal with than Koopa Troopas. Not much. And just for the record, I think they have higher defense than Koopa Troopas. Alright, now I gotta switch over to Bombette. We'll open the wall. I, of course, can't switch uh, to a party member once Bombette's floating in the air. And let's go ahead and drain the sand here. Yes, and say hello to the only star piece in the whole ruins. Another buzzy beetle. And another two, I can handle that. Maybe I'll get another level up right before the boss fight. That'd be nice. Really? Okay, so she can uh, use a spell after the bow, which really increases the coins. And we got another gray block we can't do anything about. Probably would be beneficial to go back and get the key now. Whoops. would be beneficial. And hey, nobody's perfect. And of course we got a uh, staircase up here leads to a switch. Moves this staircase around. Another great block can't do anything about. And we got coffins with surprisingly the pokey mummies aren't coming out yet. And a suspicious block. Uh oh. Yep, we're trapped. Alright, with Shell Shot, you just aim the right pole just like in Yoshi's Island, and it deals quite a bit of damage. Of course, these guys are stingy and don't drop anything. And here we have a new enemy, the Swooper. Yeah, this is the reason why I brought up Parrot Carry, because... Parrot Carry is pretty much the only uh, partner that you have that deals with the Swooper. It was either deal with two Pokemon attacks or your Pokemon in the swooper. Okay, this looks like a recipe for disaster right there.
Yeah, I think the aiming red, red pole is... I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Yoshi's Island a bit. Maybe that's where it's inspired from. Yeah, this is inspired from Yoshi's Island. And we dealt with it. Oh, so close to another level, even with Merle's help. Two star points short. So close. And we got the ruins key. Alright, let's go carry across there. Uh, wait! Uh, come on, don't go in that room! Uh, oops, uh, I mean, uh, we now, why you still can, if you continue, uh, you'll feel a horrible curse. Okay, this Tootin Koopa guy really doesn't sound ghostly anymore. And obviously something important has to be here. Well, the switch is the only one we can hit, so it's just a desire to move the stairs. And hit that switch. Three sets of stairs. Alright, going down here, we'll hit this switch. And oh look, we have a nice staircase. And of course, if you go down here and go down this hidden wall, you find a secret chest containing the Slow Go Badge. Makes Mario unable to run, his pace becomes very slow. It's important if you want to sneak past. It's a good badge if you want to sneak past enemies and don't feel confident about, you know, holding uh, the uh, control stick ever so slightly. But of course, here's the uh, secret treasure that uh, Toon Koopa would, doesn't want us to get. The Super Hammer. The attack power of Mario's hammer increases. On top of that, you can now destroy the stone blocks. Yeah, so those stone blocks you've been seeing thus far, yeah, they're pretty much a thing of the past. And hey, we saw a couple of stone blocks uh, earlier. And of course, this stair has been reset again. Maybe it resets when you leave the room. And we got the artifact. And I forgot to read the description. A strange artifact found in dry, dry ruins. I don't know, maybe Colorado would like something like that. Oh, great. This could be a big problem. And we have a pyramid stone. No, this would probably be a good time for Bombette. I love that attack. Uh, come on, Bobette, let's see it again. And we get a love lock. Yeah, I think I probably need FP right now. Yeah, that was quick work of this of that main boss, Stone Chomps. I don't really think we need the spike shield as much. I probably need the D-down pound. I 
and so let's see what's down here. Another super block. I think right this moment... I mean, it's down to these three, yeah. Each one of them has a very good reason for upgrading. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do Bombat. She has a useful ability. A bomb, 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 bomb! No bomb attack. So here's a bomb that's power bomb, in effect. It explodes and destroys all the enemies on the ground, and well... Yeah. That's all they wrote. Probably a bit overkill for the stone chomps. There's a diamond stone. Oh, jeez, really? You dodged past that. And here's another reason why I switched to Parakeet. Lower than thought. We'll get some uh, ceiling uh, ones in there. And we have a map that uh, shows us uh, where the uh, hammer is and where the three artifacts are. And it kind of looks like we're almost done exploring this uh, second dungeon. Oh boy. I don't think. Uh, the uh, fuzzy beetles in the ceiling uh, can move from the ground. They can uh, attack from the ceiling. I think they'll just drop first. Better not test fate. Never mind. They gain an extra attack point via ceiling. Whoops. I know your timing. I'm really glad I pretty much fixed uh, my uh, frame drop issue. I have one swooper I can just pretty much deal with. Oh, you're here, uh, but too, Buzzy Beetle. I'm sorry for forgetting about you. Oh, okay, that's probably the most pointless spell there is because it decreases the damage you receive, and well, the enemy didn't attack. What a waste of a useful magic spell. Oh well. What a waste. Alright, check this uh, 
uh, block over there, hit that switch. It reveals a hidden staircase to get that key. And hit that spring to go up here. And attack that buzzy beetle. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, Bombette, I need help! Are you freaking kidding me? Apparently the Buzzy Beetles uh, withstands explosions. Because they definitely- I don't think they have six defense. They shouldn't have. They really shouldn't. Oh, time to switch to Karakari. I really thought I had the time there. Apparently the game disagrees with me. Come on, just one last fuzzy be able to deal. Oh, you learn something new every day. Don't ever try exploding in front of a fuzzy beetle, it's not worth it. Because they apparently stand explosions. Probably will learn that probably by tattling. Turn back, thief! Your time is running out! If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble! I do not lie, you will regret it. Oh boy. Well, we got the ruins key, so let's just go ahead and enter that. And hit that switch to another familiar sand draining area. And there's something interesting. And we definitely got the uh, triangle symbol, we definitely got the star symbol, or the diamond symbol. We have not gotten the moon symbol. I think maybe that's the last one out of those three that was on the bottom map. Makes sense. Yeah, I really want to switch to Bombay here. Okay, no stone chomps. Let's just get the blue stone and get out. Uh, where the heck did you come from? On that. Get all the coins before they disappear. Alright, now I'll probably switch to Paracarry. And I think we're almost done with the second dungeon. Alright, Order, Pyramid Stone, Diamond Stone, Lunar Stone. That's the correct order. And panic, the, pa uh, the ruins is gonna collapse! Oh no wait, just the end staircase that leads down. With uh, looks like a hard block. And now I think the music changed. This is your final warning! Enough of this foolishness! 
Leave at once. And for a suspicious save point here, it probably means we're coming up to the second chapter boss. The chapter two boss. <laughs> uh oh. Oh dear. You, you ignored all those very scary warnings. Don't you have the common sense to get scared and run away? Well, what's wrong with you? You shouldn't mess with Tutin Cooper, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, sir, I mean, you shall regret this. Time for this chapter two boss against Tutin Koopa. All right, so here are the stats for Tutin Koopa. Tutin Koopa, 30 HP, attack three, defense zero. Yeah, Tutin Koopa has less HP and the same attack and defense points as a mid boss, Buzzar. I should probably say something about this fight, but of course it does not act attack alone. Alright, so that's four damage down. And then let's go ahead and do another five damage to you. Oh, sorry, six. So that's a uh, third of your HP gone already. <laughs> come, chomp, come, bite this intruder. Oh no! Right? And wow, that's rather sad. Am I supposed to really be Tutin Koopa this easily? Really? This easily? I just can't believe I absolutely made him absolutely pathetic like that. No! Oh, come here, Chompy. Oh, what you- Ow! No! Yeah, so, uh, some attacks that I just did not mention because, well, I just pretty much breezed through this. Tutin Koopa. Yeah, if you pretty much dealt with, uh, Chomp, the Chain Chomp over there, he can summon another one. And, of course, he can also attack via Magical Spell. Which alternates between hurting you and your partner and attacking him. And yeah, whenever he summons that magic spell, I think it also affects the Chain Chomp. I'm not 100% sure on that. And also, yeah, he can run out of those shells. Because if he runs out of the shells, he'll just uh, either summon uh, Chomp again or just uh, summon more of the magic spells. And of course, if he uh, backfires the magic spell on himself, he'll be stunned for a brief period of time and he'll be on the ground. But of course, I just breeze through him rather quickly. So, it's time to get the se second star spirit. And now that we got the second star spirit, I believe it's time for... End of chapter. Number two. Thus, Mario and party unearth the legendary dry dry ruins deep within dry dry desert. They smashed Tutin Koopa, the wizard, and freed Mamar, the second of the wish-granting star spirits. But the enemies awaiting Mario grow ever stronger, and the challenges more difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will their adventure take them next? So I think it's time to save him.